Hi, this old house. I'm Derek Williams Sell, and thank you for your consideration for the Next Generation Apprentice. This is the 1970 3300 square foot home I'm living in and remodeling. Uh, as you can see, we recently installed some new windows. Uh, let's uh, let's go inside and have a look at what uh, my buddy and I have been working on. Okay, let's go inside. So, we installed this railing, the, uh, the glue lamb up here. That's my nephew Harry. Installed this glue lamb header. Did a uh, Ceramic porcelain tile. Had to tear out the carpet. All that kind of fun stuff. This is uh, tiled all the way back here into the master bedroom. Bathroom here. Got the cabinets installed, waiting for the alder reclaimed countertops got the toilet installed yesterday new window installed here redoing the shower just put the uh, the membrane on today had to fur it and shim it up We're waiting to buy the tile Get that installed hopefully in the next week. This is, uh, this is really challenging installing these new doors and tile and having to cut the access points. The uh, cut out the tile. That was. It was a challenging aspect. The kitchen here was once fully enclosed. We had to install a temporary wall right here. Put up these headers. Had to install the tile here. Had to custom cut it. New stove, hood, to seal up. The ceiling here, install cam lights, IKEA cabinets, all installed. Yeah, again, the concrete countertops. Really pleased with how these turned out. Be able to refinish them as need be. The patios. Patio doors. His nephew Jack sleeping there. Zuzu. So this is what I've been doing in my off time. Uh, when I'm not working as a 3D CAD designer and water jet technician uh, for the company I work for fiber mount so I'll show you the, uh, the garage next where it all takes place okay down in the garage here my housemate Jesse he's working on the trim for the new windows, been helping him out with that today. This is the, uh, the larger concrete slab back here that we're getting ready to install above the dishwasher and sink. We did this all ourselves here. 
with uh, laminate. Here's our workspace. Not a lot of not a lot of space for vehicles right now. We've got our reclaimed alder here, which we're getting ready to install for the countertops. The uh, the red. Those are my tools. I'm a big Milwaukee guy. I've been, you know, working on buying all my tools for about the last four years or so now. And here's our uh, concrete mixer. Concrete mixing station where we got the, uh, the concrete countertops poured and ready to install. So it's uh, it's really just been the two of us. Sometimes his wife helps us, uh, but he he's putting in about sixty to eight hours a week with the company. After high school, I joined the Navy in two thousand three. I was an avionics technician and crew chief on the F-818 Super Hornet aboard the USS Kitty Hawk stationed in Atsugi, Japan. I primarily focused on crew safety, setting up the planes, launching the planes, and then eventually got to work on the computers, uh, doing radar, navigation, weapons systems. Uh, went all over the South Pacific. It was an incredible time. I really enjoyed the Navy, uh, working aboard the flight deck of an aircraft carrier is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. And then, you know, pulling into a different foreign port every few weeks, it, uh, it was difficult for me to transition back into civilian life. So I, uh, I regret not working with my hands more as I did in the Navy and growing up, helping my dad remodel our home, his friends' homes, his family's homes. So, you know, now that I'm in my mid 30, I think I could have avoided a lot of, uh, a lot of difficulties had I just kept working with my hands. But it's a, uh, it's a lesson hard learned and uh, it will stick with me for the rest of my life. In addition to remodeling the home I'm living in, I've also been restoring one of two remaining World War II torpedo boats over the last year. We just put it into dry dock in October. It's been a cold yet relatively mild winter here in Oregon so it's been hard work on the river but it's been rewarding we've been working with Jim Lyons from the Port Townsend Wooden Boat School uh, the founder of that school and I've been overhauling the engines the, uh, the three supercharged V12 Packard engines and it's a 79-foot mahogany hull boat. Been uh, replanking it. Had to rip off a lot of the old wood, reinstall sapeel mahogany. Uh, the boat originally had approximately 27,000 rivets. I haven't put quite that many in, but it's still been it's still been a lot of riveting. Next generation 
apprenticeship because I'm becoming the jack of all trades and the master of none. I would like to become a master contractor, a master electrician, and ideally be able to build my own home by the time I'm 40. I would also like to make my father extremely proud of me. He's the hardest working person I know. He's always had at least two jobs, sometimes four. Uh, he, he's right now uh, terminally ill with kidney disease and he's still working 12 to 16 hour days, six days a week uh, on dialysis five nights a week still still plugging away and he's, he's supposed to be retired uh, I most recently last winter was able to help him restore his fat his friends 1902 home in Lincoln Nebraska uh, we had to strip off a bunch of lacquer on the the original wood detailing of the home it came out to a couple hundred linear feet of lacquer removal uh, installed new uh, wiring in portions of the home it it was it was over the top it was a lot of work had to resurface the basement floor had to frame out a few new basement rooms so I would just like to continue his legacy of, of hard work getting things done on his own. He, he didn't have the internet, so he had to teach a lot of these things to himself. So I, I look forward to just continuing the, the craftsmanship, working, working with one's hands, and the satisfaction that comes from a job well done and a hard, hard day's work. Thank you.